So spring hasn't arrived yet, but we did recently get to go on a road trip. And like a lot of great Canadian road trips, our day started with a couple of coffees. And on this particular morning, some breakfast sandwiches. So we sipped coffee to tunes for a long drive before we reached Halifax, where we attended the Motorcycle Power Sport Atlantic Exhibition. This exhibition is Atlantic Canada's largest power sport event. And I have to say, it looked like quite the turnout. I haven't been around this many people since COVID started. With lots of bikes to look at and dream over, they also had plenty of vendors where you could find that one unique gift or just whatever you like. Also, lots of hot sauce. Anyone that knows me knows that I like to dabble with the spicy and they certainly had a lot of that. So much, I don't even know where you would start. And the bikes were so well maintained that they were just glistening in the light. And there were also some charitable vendors. My favorite one in particular was the one put on by Bikers Against Bullying, where your donation can help stop bullying in schools, but one of the prizes is a motorcycle? They got my donation. And overall, I enjoyed myself browsing and shopping for the perfect little trinkets. And I did get to see some cool stuff. I mean, I've seen a police cruiser before, but never have I ever seen a police dirt bike? That was different. And not only were there a lot of bikes, but there were also a lot of treats that called out to the big kid in me. I couldn't resist. One of them, yeah. I think he'll be sure. Here. Don't matter. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just get your hand. <laughs> Thank you. And there was some cool looking modded bikes with interesting accessories. And for the first time ever, I got to see a big wheel motorcycle in person. There were lots of clothing options to choose from and I got to spin the wheel and save 15% off of what I think is the world's coolest pizza cutter. And of course, I had to try the Rebel 1100 on for size. And I have to say, without some mods to the handlebars, I think it's a little bit too much of a reach for my comfort level. They also had some beard and mustache competitions that were pretty entertaining to watch, put on by Q104 Halifax and Educated Beards. And it looks like these gentlemen certainly know what they're doing when it comes to beards. But to me, there were two motorcycles that really stood out from the rest. The first is the story of the veteran who during his time serving saw too much. His motorcycle tells a story about what it is that soldiers experience and brings awareness to PTSD. And second, the most touching story of all, the bike who was owned by the man who so loved his wife that he decided to dedicate his Harley in her memory after losing her to cancer. She was also a motorcyclist who rode a Harley and together they would ride their Harleys off into the sun. This bike had such beautiful detail and I remember being drawn to the color originally. And after learning the story, it truly touched my heart and I found it all the more beautiful. 
It brings tears to my eyes. A story of love and life. And after many hours of indoor sightseeing, we were starting to get hungry again. So we went out for a bite to eat. He had the brisket burger and I had the chicken burrito bowl. Not only was it delicious, but I didn't have to drive. And please, don't drink and ride. Thanks for watching. <laughs>